News in the world of Valheim. Let's go. Ashlands is getting nerfed. Thank goodness. Let's look at the details and then I'll tell you why I say that. So we have patch notes coming out on the public test branch today. And when I say Ashlands is getting nerfed, I am not kidding. Look at how far they're nerfing some of these things. They've decreased the random spawn chance of multiple enemies in the Ashlands. Vultures. Reduce spawn chance from 30% to 20%. Twitchers in the day, spawn interval increase from 110 to 200. Reduce the spawn chance from 55% to 25%. That's huge. Max spawn decreased from four to three. Twitchers at night, the spawn interval is increased from 100 to 160. Spawn chance reduced from 60% to 30%. Charred Archer, spawn interval increased from 240 to 320. Reduced spawn chance from 40 to 20. Charred Melee, spawn interval increased from 240 to 320. Reduced spawn chance from 50 to 20%. That's more than 50% they knocked that down. Lava Blob, spawn interval increased from 200 to 260. Flametal Spires will no longer submerge when mined. Now, I know this one's going to be a little bit controversial, but I don't necessarily think that Iron Gate did this to make that easier for us to do. There is some kind of bug that's happening that they're having trouble figuring out what it is. And it has to do with when the flametal spires sink. So I don't know if this one is going to be temporary and they're going to bring it back or they're going to do it in some different way. But that was, as far as I can tell, specifically related to a bug that they needed to get rid of. And the way they got rid of it was by getting rid of this. Maybe it goes hand in hand with trying to make things less difficult overall as well. Vultures no longer make walking sounds when flying. And fix the bug in the block list that made it possible to block yourself. They have some just bug fixes on Xbox and Mac. Yes, Valheim is out on Mac if you've been waiting for that. So why do I say thank goodness that Ashlands is getting nerfed? As far as I'm concerned, Ashlands was too hard. I have been playing Valheim since the beginning. And if you've ever watched me play, then you know I have no problem with combat. I have no problem with multiple enemies. I welcome it. However, in Ashlands, the sheer volume of enemies, the constant rate of enemies, it got to the point where you practically couldn't do anything else. And I mean, I understand that Valheim is a brutal survival game and I have no problem with that whatsoever. However, there has to be a chance to catch your breath. Could I do it? Yes, I could. But to be honest, Ashlands came out, I play it with my community, I'll go in and help somebody if they have an issue they need help with in the Ashlands. But I haven't been playing Ashlands myself in a while. Now part of that is because I have other stuff going on, I've been doing Bell Rite, Ask is about to come out. But I found myself, whenever I was thinking, I need to get back in and do Ashlands, I just like couldn't get myself pumped up to do it because I knew it was going to be so extreme. Particularly if you're playing as a solo player, trying to deal with that many mobs at once. And most of the typical players out there in the world don't dedicate their lives to video games, you know? <laughs> and so having a difficult experience is one thing, but not everyone is a hardcore player. And I think this has kind of been an issue with Ashlands. In the feedback that they've gotten during the public test branch, a lot of the players in there are like really hardcore dedicated players. And also with the devs playing it, you know, like Grimcore is kind of known as wanting the most hard, extreme difficulty level of things. And I get that. I would say Robin is definitely one of the best players in Valheim when it comes to combat. But I think the general player going in, when you're constantly being attacked, with no space to breathe, I think it doesn't always translate. So like when I've been thinking about going into Ashlands, I'm like, ugh, do I, do I really feel like dealing with this today? <laughs> so I think it's good if we give Iron Gate feedback from all different types and all different levels of players. If you're willing and interested in joining the public test branch 
and giving them input on things, particularly maybe if you're a newer player, not as hardcore, haven't been around from the beginning, I think that it would be really helpful for them to have more input from that type of player. You can join the public test branch and give your feedback and chat with them on their Discord. I'll leave a link in the more section below this video. Let me know what you think. Are you happy or not happy about the nerfs coming to the Ashlands? Until next time, happy gaming.